So I found this game online uh, called Line Wobbler by Robin uh, Baumgarten. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, basically, it's a Arduino-based 1D dungeon crawler where you wobble a gyroscope on a stick or on a spring to control a character going through a 1D maze and you navigate enemies and lava and all sorts of obstacles. In one of the interviews I saw, he said that he wasn't going to release it or do a Kickstarter because uh, the cost of LEDs is extremely expensive. But I wanted to play the game myself, so I set about making a line wobbler clone, which I'm calling Twang. The project started out with an Arduino Mega and an MPU 6050 module, which is a, a gyroscope accelerometer, which as you can see attached to a small breadboard on top of the Arduino. The LED strip is a APA102C, which I'm driving using the Fast LED library, uh, link in the description. Getting the player set up and an enemy moving towards them and uh, killing them was fairly easy. I moved the LED strip to the blinds above my desk uh, to make it easier to look at while programming. Uh, to test the code, I had to physically pick up and, and tilt the Arduino, uh, which wasn't ideal, but it, it did allow me to get straight into the code rather quickly. I moved the MPU 6050 off the breadboard and onto a door spring with the wires running down the center. Uh, to protect the gyro, I uh, modeled an uh, enclosure that would fit on top of the spring and also keep it um, parallel to the ground. And this was printed on my Zortrax M200 printer, which is amazing. The sensor is a nice snug fit and in this shot you can actually see that I added uh, some LEDs as uh, life indicators. I give the player three attempts on each level before I send them back to level one. Uh, the project was still on a block of wood at this point so I, I designed and printed a enclosure that um, the joystick could attach to and the wires could run down the center and the lid I sanded and polished to give it a nice uh, smooth finish. I'll probably paint this later. I then printed the other half of the enclosure uh, and inserted all the components. As you can see the speaker is on standoff so it's close to the cutout at the top and the joystick is attached with 90 degree pins uh, so I can easily detach it if I need to service it. The lid attaches with two screws. Uh, you can see the cutout where I can still access the USB for programming the Arduino. On the front, you can see the LEDs for the life indicator. I also added a uh, four pin waterproof plug, uh, which will allow me to switch out different LED strips for different setups. I wanted to fix the LED strips to the wall without having to put glue or tape on the back of them. So I uh, made some angle brackets that the LED strip snaps into. The game wouldn't be very interesting with just single enemies, so I added an enemy spawner class that can spawn enemies in different directions at different speeds. I also added lava that turns on and off and allows uh, the player and enemies to pass when it's off. And you can set these up in any sequence you want. You can set a delay and an on time and an off time. We also have patrolling enemies. We also have water, which has a direction and rate of flow that can slow down or speed up the player. And I did a boss level that spawns enemies continuously until you hit it uh, and then it relocates. And it has three lives, so when you kill it three times, you win the game. And you know you've won because of rainbows. Although this is primarily for indoor use, I do intend to use it outdoors as part of an interactive Christmas display. So if no input is detected on the joystick for 30 seconds, a screensaver mode kicks in, which cycles for a couple of classic Christmas light displays. 
If the joystick is tapped, the game returns to level 1. So that's all for now. Um, I'm going to do some more level design and testing, and when the LED strips of the front of the house arrive, I'll install those and uh, make another video. Once this is finished, I will upload all the files needed to 3D print the enclosure, along with the code, um, which I, I hope is going to be actually fairly easy for people to start making their own levels with. Thanks for watching.